My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I am able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. On to race number eight, which is over 1,000 meters. In race number eight, I'm going to give my selections early on. I'm going to go with number three, Trade War, as my narrow first selection. And then we've got number four, Philly Spiel. Number six, Bless Me, Fred. And then it's very wide open after that. I do suggest throwing in number five, Impartial. I believe 1,000 meters. This could be the springer in the pack. But let's get on to Trade War when winning last time out, beating Gimme a Rainbow by a short head. And then we'll hear from Michael Roberts what he has to say. Happy Wanderer, Trade War, Slim Yanni and Lord Wiley on the right hand side. Quest for the best, Trade War becomes a runner, Slim Yanni, Lord Wiley on the outside and Gimme a Rainbow sneaks through at the rail. Trade War now, down the inside, Gimme a Rainbow. Trade War and Gimme a Rainbow, there's nothing between the two of them. Gimme a Rainbow, Trade War, I'm not going to split them. Gimme a Rainbow on the inside, Trade War nearest us. Very well. Um, um you know, he's in a good space, he's working nicely, and uh, I expect a nice run from him. Yes, he's, uh, yeah, he was a tad unlucky last time, uh, you know, he got um, squeezed and, uh, uh, you know, sluggies at the gates, uh, but uh, he's also in a good space, you know, I must say, you know, I think, my, you know, my horses in this race, all three of them, you know, are very competitive. Yes, uh, I expected him, you know, to go close last time, because, you know, this horse is, you know, he's on the up all the time, he's, you know, he's quite a big horse, and you wouldn't say, you know, that uh, that he's got that much speed, you know, looking at him. But uh, I think he's maturing, he's he's improved again. Uh, I think, you know, there is not going to be much between these three animals and one. There you heard from the respective trainer, Michael Roberts, about the horses. And even he's not quite sure which is going to be the right one on the day, Warren. So it's quite interesting. And also interesting of recent meetings. We've seen Sipper Sifflet Linger and Rachel Benica swap rides around. So it's, it's very interesting. You've got to dig down deep and hopefully on the right one at the end of the day. I've elected to go with number three, Trade War, who achieved an 82 at the heart of his career. And after winning last time, out, did go up the three points beating Gimme a Rainbow. Penultimate run was beaten a short head by Cavalieri. So I'm going to go with number three, Trade Wars, my first selection. And then if you're looking for the Ruffy, I think number five, Impartial, back to a thousand meters. Just let this one rip and hopefully the fast forward button's on full go. 52 kilograms on his back. He certainly could keep going, Impartial. It's a race that I, I say, uh, you know, there's not, I'm not wild about anything, to be quite frank with you in the eighth race, but of course we're going to get involved and we'll take quartets and we'll certainly play. We don't let a race go. I wasn't really in the camp of C. Vista, but listening to Michael Roberts' his comments, I'm going to include him and respect him in absolutely everything, number eight, C. Vista. My first choice is bless me, Fred, but with no confidence at all. So you and I are a little different here, but that's great because it's about difference of opinion and uh, it's a tough, tough race. But pushed in a corner, bless me, Fred. There we go, number six, bless me, Fred for Warren. I like a little bit of number three, trade war. The value could be number five, impartial. Number two, flying the star from the Kareem Bastel stable. Absolutely loves the course, so you've got to throw in number two, flying the star. And then number eight, C Vista. Now, when you look at this individual and the profile, comes with a book of excuses, and it would be no surprise to see Michael Roberts run first, second, and third in race number eight. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Mm -hmm.